So the other day, I was opening a bottle of wine. Take off the top. Try not to cut myself. And this one is Trader Joe's Coastal Chardonnay. Very, very good, I might add. One of the things that I like about this is this top. It's actually metal. So I cut the top off and now I found the seam. Then I'm going to cut through, cut through that, and I end up with a piece of metal that looks like this. Um, I find it easier to cut the top of this off. I usually do it with a, just a pair of scissors, it doesn't take much. So I'm going to cut off the part that went around the very top. Well, now I have a piece that's green on one side and silvery on the other. I looked at this and I thought, no, I must be able to do something with it. Not really sure exactly what. And then I thought, what if I took this and pressed it up against something with a design on it? So I went to my favorite restore and I found this little glass dish. I thought it was very cute. And one of the designs that it has on it is this little star right there, this little flower thing. So I thought, well, what if, what if I took that metal, taped it to the glass, and when you tape it to the glass so that it doesn't move, And on both sides, I'm just going to tape it here to this doom-a-jigger, to this little bowl. And I'll put one more piece across the top for good measure. Just right across the top. Okay, so now I've got it taped on three sides. And you can see through the design that I have it all covered. It's right there. Now I'm going to take this little blending blending nub <clears throat> and I'm going to take this design and I'm just going to start going around and around and around until I can start seeing the the design. You can see that's starting to come through. So let me get that. Press a little harder my second go around. Get the edges. Get around each one of these. And I think this is coming out pretty nicely. It's taking a minute or two. Again, I think this is going to come out just right. So again, all this is is just a little metal wine top that I thought was kind of cute. So the next thing that I did, so I went all around and came up with something that looks like something that looks like that. You can see the whole design is all raised nicely. I'm just going to go around the edges one more time, make sure I've got it nice and defined. I have no idea what's, what I'm going to do with this once it's finished, but. Anyway, I just thought it was kind of a cool idea. So then I'm going to take the tape off. Stick it on what I call the art table. And then I thought one thing that might look nice on that, and you can see this, both sides have a bit of a design on it. So I'm going to cut around this. Gotta make a little circle that goes around, capturing all the little design. And the next thing I thought that might look nice on here would be to take a little paint. So I grab a little paint, grab a little brush. 
take this, let's paint the whole thing black. Better not use that. Find something that I can use to wipe down. So I'm just going to use this old shirt. And I'm going to take this. Let's move this down a little bit so you can see a little better. Let's see how does that work. That works a little better. I'll be right back. Everything works better with a sip of wine. Then I'm going to take this and I'm just going to rub and rub. So that I only have the black left in some of the in some of the crevasses. And there you have it. Look at that. It could be an earring, pendant. Might want to finish it off with some varnish or something to make it a little more solid so it's not quite so flimsy. But all that from that little tiny wine bottle. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.